probably have to say that the blood is the worst part. I mean, <laughs> once you get that into your clothes, if you don't immediately use like hydrogen peroxide or if you don't use, you know, like cold water, then it's just stained forever. Uh, let's see, we also have, uh, let's see, we got another one that's, uh, okay, well, mainly I use an, an ax. I mean, sometimes, sometimes, if I don't have enough rope, I use like a big hammer and I just, you, you just take out the ankles and then they can't run. And then it's just, just an ax after that. It's not even really a sharp one. It doesn't have to be sharp. You just put your back into it and it doesn't matter if it's dull. You can put it right through a rib cage. So that's primarily. Uh, we have, oh yes. I type with two fingers. I got, I use my index and my middle on the, I'm not going to just show the finger. I mean, because then it looks like I'm giving you the finger, but I, I type with this finger and this finger when I, I type like this on a keyboard. And then I use either these fingers or my thumbs when I want to hit the space bar. So it's really silly. But when I'm really going 104 words per minute with no errors, it's, it's not often, but I can do it. Let's see what else we have. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, it was 12 years. I was married for 12 years. My, she was dying for the last 10 years of it, unfortunately. She, her name was Jennifer, and she'd had Hodgkin's lymphoma as a teenager. She had grapefruit-sized tumors on like her neck and inside of her abdomen. They used exploratory surgery and just plain surgery to remove those, but they also gave her massive chemo and radiation, and that just destroyed her heart, lungs, and that she had a lot of organs just plain removed. <sighs> Unfortunately, from age 31 to 41, she spent those last 10 years of her life dying and died at age 41. I complain about my life, but I'm going to be 57 this October, and my wife has been dead for five years now. So, uh, let's see, we have, oh yeah, they were asking, yeah, it was, I had 28, there was, it was 28 at the Hamsters, like just a couple of years back, and that was when I was living in my brother-in-law's garage, way back in the 90s, I had a lot more, but I was deep in my alcoholism. And I wasn't really taking care of them and there wasn't a lot of information you had to talk to the people at the pet stores and they had a whole store and a lot of them didn't know so I ended up not taking very good care of my early hamsters and I really feel bad about that it was not a good thing but even though I did bad things in the past I can't change the past you just strive to be better in the future and I have never done to my hamsters again the horrible things that I had done in the past so that's a good thing Definitely. Uh, one more, last one. Uh, here we are. It's um. Oh, yeah. It's a uh, mostly hitchhikers. Just, just hitchhikers. I don't really care if it's a you know a man or a woman. I just try to. It's whoever will get in the car. You know, and these days it's a it's kind of hard to do that. But you know, you got to be careful. And I have had to bleed to the inside of the car to remove DNA stains, and I've had to throw out a lot of clothing from blood. But, you know, if, as long as you're careful, and as long as you're wearing gloves, and you try not to get blood on you, you're, you're going to be pretty much okay. I mean, they won't be, but it'll be cool. So that's the last one. Thank you very, very much. It is appreciated. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do this again. So... You take care, and I will see you all on the flip side. It's been fun. Thank you very, very much. Oh, and then what we're...